Okay, we are rolling, we are recording, and yes, I have this mic all out here so you can see it. This is just pinned on, and I'm recording using the, um, one of my apps on the, on the iPhone here. And the reason I'm doing this is I'm shooting this video clip with my RX100 Mark IV, which does not have a mic input. It's my only camera that does not, so of course I'll sync this audio in post. But for now, let me just park this right here. And hopefully that will keep recording. I could have put it to sleep. Actually, I'm going to do that just to be on the safe side here. What you can do is you can just put the phone to sleep like that, and that way all the controls are inactive, so you won't accidentally stop the recording from recording. I'm still going to be careful putting it in here so I don't pull the mic out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over my kit for covering events. Call this a running gun event shooting kit. First and foremost, I have my main camera, which I use for both stills and video clips. I used to use a Nikon D700 in this position for years that I shot stills only with, because of course it did not shoot video clips. And that was inconvenient because I, I really like now the ability to be able to shoot high quality stills. Again, 12 megapixels, which was what my D700 was, full frame sensor, A7S Mark II high quality stills and super 4K video with the same camera. So I can very quickly draw this up, bring it up to my eye and shoot whatever I need to shoot. Now typically when I'm covering an event, I'll use either a 24 to 70, which same thing on my Nikon, I was using the 24 to 70 F 2.8 lens. This is a 24 to 70 F 4 lens, which I love this lens. It's gotten mixed reviews, but I think it does a great job. And at f4, since this camera has such great high ISO capability, I picked up at least two stops of high ISO over the Nikon. So that more than makes up for the fact that this is an f4 versus an f2.8. I can still blur the background if I zoom in at 70 millimeter and take somebody's portrait at, at f4. I can still blur that background, still does the job great. And this is fantastic for video because it's a stabilized lens. That coupled with the five axis image stabilization, they work in concert to give me really steady handheld clips. And I've got a lot of those on my channel that you can take a look at. I just did the Mummers Parade and a lot of those clips that I shot with this camera were handheld. Um, so, so just a fantastic setup. I've got an L bracket on here with Arca Swiss so I can quickly put this on a tripod either way. And it's always here ready to go on my spider holster. Takes all the weight off of my shoulder puts it here. This strap is for safety so that if I put it out like this, it's not going to hit the ground. If it slips out of my hand, it's not going to hit the ground. This is easily detachable from this uh, Gordy's camera strap. The Gordy's camera strap can also be relocated from here to either side if I choose to, but this keeps it out of the way. Everything works great. This is the stereo Sony mic that is on the hot shoe here that gives me great audio into this unit. If I'm shooting like a marching band playing or, or a group playing music or something, I can pick it up with this music. Also, I have a mic input and I have a various ways to get high quality audio into there, not the least of which is this microphone with a 10 foot cable on it. This is a custom 10 foot Mogami cable. This is a Shure Beta 57A. I used to just use an SM57, which also works great, but this is a step up from that, the Beta 57A with this 10 foot custom cable goes to a 3.5 millimeter input. This can either plug into my Panasonic FC1000, which is right here, or my Sony, which is right here. So let me just park this back here. And here, I also have, and I'm not gonna pull them out right now, I have a giant squid mic and I, an extension, I think a six foot extension cable. So that gives me a total of um, 12 feet or so, well, 11 feet or so of reach. So I can do a wired lapel mic on somebody and I have stereo uh, giant squid mics, so I could actually pin up two people. And I even have a splitter, so I can actually pin up three people. So if I want to do a lav mic setup straight into either the FC1000 or the Sony, I can lav them up with the mics that are right here in the front of this pouch. Okay, the last thing I'm going to go over is the FC1000, which great camera, does some focus hunting sometimes. So if you can switch it, if you can lock focus auto and then switch it over with the little switch here to manual, you're better off. You're going to get rid of that hunting issue. That's the only real issue I have with this camera. 
Otherwise, the footage is great. In 4K, I get from 37 millimeter out to almost 600 millimeter reach. And the stabilization is pretty daggone good. So you can shoot a lot of clips handheld with this and it's gonna work. It's got the one inch sensor, good sharp 4K video. So that's a quick rundown. I'm gonna also roll in a clip or two of the Segway that I use when I'm covering big events and like parades and things like that. It almost acts like a steady cam. you're gliding along and you can shoot some really cool footage with that. So I'll roll in a quick clip of that. Thanks for watching. Hey, please subscribe to my channel. I also want to add, you see in the back there, I have room for an extra lens. Sometimes I do carry my 70 to 200 f4 lens, and sometimes I only take that lens. So I'll decide when I'm going out to cover an event, do I need the reach? I'll take the 70 to 200 f4. If not, I use the 24 to 70. So those are my two go-to lenses for the Sony camera. Sometimes I'll carry my 40 millimeter Voigtlander lens, f4 lens. I love that lens on that camera. And then, of course, I have various other audio. I have um, the wireless Sennheiser mics that I will use sometimes that I can carry in this kit. So there's some other things that are in the kit that I didn't go over in this, but I have a bunch of reviews on my channel of all the different audio options that I have and microphones and all of that good stuff. So again, thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my channel. Ask any questions you have in the comments, and I'll be happy to try and answer them.